Stampa Fair campers, it's time to do some memory preservation and we're going to be putting together a mini book and I'm going to teach you how to do a stab stitch binding on the edge of the book with the rustic jute button twine. First of all, we're going to talk about pictures. The pictures in this mini book were taken from a camping trip that we took this past June and I actually took close to 500 pictures for this trip. To do a mini book there's no way I can use that many pictures and so I had to edit myself quite a bit. I printed about 44 pictures um, from that 500 pictures that I liked for this mini book and I edited down that even further to about 22 because you don't want your mini book to be so huge that it's not a mini book anymore. So I have these pictures, I printed them off about three inches by four inches and these are the ones uh, right here in this next clip that we're going to use, well that I'm going to use for this project. So I really just highlighted different events from that weekend um, to get a good taste of all of the things that we did. Now I'm used the tabbed mini book page die to do my pages and I cut them all from craft paper to start. So here you have, I have 22 pages that I'm going to use in the book and I've laid out which pictures are going to go on each page and it's kind of hard to tell but I have them in order of how they're going to go through the book. Next I went and I chose what pattern papers I'm going to use. I have kind of a selection of the some paper tray pattern papers and then I have a few other pieces from kind of my pattern paper stash that I have. I wanted to mix it up and add um, some different um, papers in. So I went then and I took and I added the paper to my pages. Some pages have whole pieces of pattern paper, some just have strips on the side. I tried to keep it consistent and I didn't do too many crazy things because it keeps the book looking unified. After I get to the point where I have my pattern papers chosen, I move on to what sort of embellishments I'm going to include. And in this book I'm going to do something pretty simple. I stamped little icons from the summer camp set onto one of the that neutral pattern paper from the summer camp pattern paper set and I punched some of those out to add in on the pages. I don't want to do too much because I really don't want my book to get too fat. So then I took the embellishments that I made, the little stamped ones, and I'm laying them out on the different pages and I also typed up different captions and journaling um, from our adventures that weekend and I also have those laid out on the pages. I did a little stamping with the summer camp set here. I have some trees stamped on the kind of the background of this page next to the pattern paper and um, stapled down all of the little embellishments and the words and everything now is adhered to each of the pages. And these pages are all flat so some of these now are going to get adhered back to back to stick together. So I just took my adhesive, um, the mini tabbed mini book page die. Um, you can back to back it. It's um, the same size and everything to back it all together. So I've, I adhered all of the pages that went back to back all together and that keeps the staples from showing through on the next pages um, behind them and we're ready to bind the book. I'm going to teach you a stab stitch binding which is one that I have done for many years and I've shown it here and there on projects that you might remember. Um, the tabbed mini book page die, I'm going to page through the book here so you can get a look at the different pages but I'll just keep talking a little bit about the binding. But the tabbed mini book page die is really nice for this technique and learning how to do the stab stitch binding technique because you've got your holes already punched for you. They're a great size so you're not going to be struggling with getting your thread through a smaller hole um, and so it is a really nice one to do that. The one disadvantage of this binding technique is that the book is not going to lay flat when you open it so that's something you need to keep in mind. So I've got button twine and um, I'm going to go down the first hole and I'm going to leave a tail and I'm going to come up that second hole. So kind of like a running stitch and actually that's what you would do if you had a longer book with more holes. You would do a running stitch. Now I'm wrapping the twine around the bottom of the book. I'll move here just a minute so you can see it. There it is. And I'm coming back up that bottom hole. So I'm basically looping it around the bottom of the book and coming back up that bottom hole again. And then I'm going to loop around the side of the book and come up that hole again and see where the bigger hole is is actually such a nice advantage for this. This is it's a simple binding once you get the stitching technique down. So once I have the loop around the bottom and around the side I'm going to go up to that top hole and I'm going to do basically the same idea up at the top. I'm going to loop around the top of the book so I have my twine wraps around the top and then I'm going to loop around the side of the book right there. 
and I actually, I'm not sure why I stitched through twice, you can, I probably just wanted to be more secure. And then we're just going to simply tie this off. And it's kind of up to your preference. If you want the tail to show, which that's what I'm going to do in this book, I kind of like that. You could even leave them long and put a bead or something like that on there. Or you can tie your knot and tuck your ends into the hole there so that you don't see your knot that finishes off your binding. And I'm just doing a square knot here. It's nice and secure and will hold the book. And one thing um, to remember when you're doing this binding too is you're going to want to make sure that you've got everything pulled nice, even, nice and tight and even. And I'm going to page the book here so you can see. It doesn't lay open and flat with this technique. You could score on the inside edge so that it um, has more of a fold in the paper and lays open, but it's not going to be like when you have rings on to lay flat. So there is your mini book with a stab stitch binding and using that mini tab or tabbed mini book page die. Here's a look at a couple of the pages as you go through the book. Like I said, this is going to be a great book just to have on my coffee table to remember all of the wonderful things that we did on this trip. It's just a taste. It's not, the mini book is not going to document the whole trip. It's just going to be a little taste of our adventure that we had. Um, a great thing to remember memories and start conversation. So I hope this gives you a new way to put a mini book together to preserve some of your memories from either a camping trip or another event that your family has. This has been Heather Nichols for Stamp Affair 2012. I hope everybody is having a great day and making lots of memories of your own. Have a great rest of your day. Mm -hmm.